I just put this in this year and we haven't covered it all the way yet. Uh, my plan is I'm gonna make strips and I'm gonna rent them out to people, let them grow here, grow food, and, uh, and, and also people are interested in flowers. Believe it or not, I really like growing flowers. I know it's kind of nuts, but uh, I don't know. I guess I think from being at so many funerals for so long, All I ever want to do is be in combat since I was a little kid, and now I'm a Green Beret on a team in combat, and it couldn't have been better. I got bumped off the helicopter that day, April 14, 1994. Uh, two F 15s shot down the helicopters and killed everybody. We had to piece everyone back together and try and get their, their parts and pieces together. And from then on, I was having the nightmares. I broke all my molars from clenching. Um, it was rough, and there was nothing you could do about it if you, if you said anything, you were out of Special Forces. He was trying to endure without presenting it to everybody else, um, and therefore it made it even worse. But it came out as just anger and frustration and um, intolerance. I would get angry nonstop or snap, wake up angry. I'd wake up, my mouth would be filled with blood because it bit through my lips. Tried to drink it away. You know, I, I tried everything. He put me on antidepressants regularly. And within a month, I would start feeling like, you know, it'd be better for my family if I wasn't here. When you include all the injuries, no more being on a 12-man A team and, you know, having brothers around all the time, you feel alone. And you hurt so bad inside, you, you've lost so many buddies. All the friends you thought you were gonna hang around with in retirement are gone. Sometimes you just feel like, all right, maybe I'm just gonna give up. I've lost 12 friends to suicide. It's too many. It's too many. They were all good men. Well, Pat had tried so many things, but I know he's a fighter. So when he told me about this, I was like, yeah, do it. And it was hard to believe when I got the phone call that he felt better. We finally have an answer. Vets can help us. It's fantastic. I would lost hope and now I have hope again. So, yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. You know, I look forward to life. Vets gave. Pat, myself, my children, our family, an opportunity to grow again. We wanna do whatever we can to spread the message to others struggling. I haven't had a nightmare since November, <laughs> man. You know, I sleep sleep good. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you're not, we're only sleeping in an hour at a time, and I've been doing it for 25 years. It mentally destroys you, and now I, I sleep really, really well. I do the weekly meetings, and man, that's one of my favorite things because you'll see a guy. There'll be nine guys in there, and everybody, you know, how was your week, or anybody have anything to add, or anybody, and there's that guy that's looking at his shoes, and you go, oh yeah, he's the one going. He's, he's gonna go this week. And you can see it. You can see how much pain he's in. And the next Monday, <laughs> he's got a smile from ear to ear. And it, you know, he's like, can I say something? And, and you know, it is so cool. It's just, I hate to say magical, but it's magic. So every week I, I always try to get home from work early enough to make the meeting. And just to see guys come out of it. It's such a great feeling. It brings you home. You know, it brings you home. Okay, I finally got to come home.